Okay, full, full disclosure with this one, I didn't want to upload it because it's super, super noisy. Uh, but I never got to, I never was able to remake the video with these guys. But there's some good information on it. Um, so people might like it. So that's just a fair warning to you guys. But anyways, this is what it's like to be a cook doing seasonal shit. All right, first say like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe, you filthy animals. Yeah, that's it. You won't. <laughs> so my passion is making videos, trying to get like poor people to start doing this job because if you're poor, if you're homeless, and you start doing seasonal work, you're fucking on it. Like, you, you can't spend money, you're forced to save money. You get free housing, free food, too much fucking food. I can't lose weight here. <laughs> um, I literally live under a kitchen and I want to talk. I was actually watching a video, video on YouTube talking about kitchen culture and it made it out to seem very, very depressing. And I guess in some aspects, yeah, it really is. But not as much as yeah, they yeah, made yeah. it out to seem. So like, I wanted to like know your guys' like viewpoints on kitchen culture. Okay. Like not just in this atmosphere of like... Uh, yeah, not just here okay. at this place, don't say the name, because okay. YouTube. Yeah. But like every kitchen place you work at, what like kitchen life work in the kitchen? Uh, I mean some of the stuff on TV is definitely true, you know, like you're going to work a lot of hours, you're going to probably be a little bit angry sometimes, you're going to burn yourself all the time. I mean, my arms are covered in scars from working but it's also like really, really rewarding. You go through a full night, no mistakes, everybody gets food, everybody gets paid, everybody gets home. And you make good friends. Okay? You're working with the same people all day, every day. Yeah. So people get pretty tight in the kitchen. Usually, Great overtime. Yeah, usually warfare gets the kitchen and the front house. That's all a good time. Yeah. <laughs> so like, what are your guys' best memories? I've only worked in two official kitchens as a cook um, and a warm food truck, so I have pretty limited experience compared to something I've done for over 10 years. Yeah, how long have you done? 10 years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I worked kitchen jobs when I was a teenager and then I started doing them again when I got out of service. So, you know, yeah. good 10 years. I feel like that's very common. Like, no, ex military, you think, oh, they have all these benefits, no, they just go fuck them. Yeah, no, <laughs> it, it, the, the mentality is so similar too, right? Like you show up, you do your work, you yeah. bust your butt, you make, you, you keep that attention to detail, you make as little mistakes as possible, and you know, it's, it's real tight, it's like, you know, everybody works, right? It's not like a, like an office job where you clock in, you're like, oh, hey, Bob, how was the game? And you want to just kind of like... Anyway, we're going to just redact that whole thing in the video. Oh, no, that's same thing. That is staying. in. I unedited content. This unedited! Is the yeah. um, so let's go to the, let's talk about the pay. What do you feel about the pay? Like, Here it's pretty reasonable, I think. It depends on the state, honestly. Yeah. And Food work, it can vary a lot. Like what, I, so you, you think like what, what state you work in depends on? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Right. Working here, you get paid a lot of money. Pretty decent way, you know, for what you're doing. But there's plenty of states where, like, yeah, they'll pay you like minimum wage to bust your butt in like a fast kitchen. And I just like uh, I used to live in Arizona, and I was making like twelve dollars an hour or twelve dollars an hour. <coughs> sorry, working at a restaurant chain that may have a large fruit in the name, but I can't mention on YouTube. <laughs> But yeah, no, that, but then I've also worked in New York at like small mom and pop, so I'm making like 20, 22 an hour. You know, and it also depends on your experience. Like you get to those higher levels, you're like a meat cook or a chef, or even just like if it's a small kitchen and you're like one of the three people that runs the whole thing every week, yeah, you can make some really good cash. How hard is it to find those jobs at like the very small kitchens? Like They're actually pretty common. Um, yeah, a lot of like local mom and pops. Like you go to your hometown, you see like like Gaglios or some Italian joint. Yeah, they're probably like ten people in the whole restaurant. Probably half of them are related. And yeah, you're gonna get terrible hours and you're never gonna be good. But pretty pretty dang good. Yeah, let's hope. 
Let's hope. You actually, you have bigger problems with like chain restaurants, like the fast casual, like fast food. Like, yeah, they'll try and lowball you every time. And, uh, I'm sorry, what? Uh, yeah, like what he's saying is very true. Like, I, the last job I worked was like a month. And there were like three cooks on staff. And usually you have two cooks a day because one cook would be off. Yeah. It's pretty simple. But, um, yeah, it was, it was a lot more hours and had a lot less help, like, prep and everything. had a lot of one prep. It was, it was a lot more. So with the long hours, that like, interfere with your guys' was, like, day-to-day life? Or, like, relationships, friends, family? Yeah. What, what is that? Family? <laughs> oh, yeah, you work in a kitchen. Yeah. You, you do your job when everybody else is off work. So there's a good chance that you're going to be, you know, working nights, working weekends. I mean, holiday pay, totally worth it, but you're going to have to skip, like, Christmas. It's worth it. And since we're on the topic of pay, like, working here, like, let's talk about working at a resort job. Okay. I was told if you can cook, you will always have a job. Oh, yeah. Doing resorts. Either. Yeah. Well, no problem. Anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world? Yes. Oh, yeah, so see? All the world. So, quick back, quick back story. So you travel to, tell, tell us where you travel. Um, okay, so I haven't cooked in these places, but I've traveled to New Zealand, and Australia, and Indonesia, and Philippines, and Hawaii, Alaska, and Philippines. So you've never cooked, so you only cooked in America? Uh, so far. Okay, okay, okay. But um, what were you saying? You said something good, I forgot what you said. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Everybody in the kitchen has ADD, all of us. <laughs> That's we have to like do 16 things. Like yeah, 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 yeah. It actually is really helpful if you can like mile a minute your brain, especially yeah. when like you know the dinner rush happens. You got like 20 tickets. Yeah, it's possibly like, yeah no, it's it's one, 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 one. But uh, there are times you too when you fuck up. Like I fucked up today. I left mustard in the oven okay. for I guess an hour. <laughs> like two hours. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they were crispy critters. Yeah. Um, but again, being at resorts, what's it like? What's the pay like for you guys? What's it like living here? What's it like living here? Uh, pay's great because the cost of living is so low. Oh, yeah. Uh, so you're making it. How much do you guys pay for your housing? Uh, uh, my contract says bi weekly, it's about 210 So in a month, I'm paying $430 for room, board, yeah. and food. And, you know, we have a cafeteria, we have all the food you can have. You can rent an apartment if you're at a bigger resort. Can we like opt out for the food thing? No. Since we work at the kitchen. No. Uh, for this resort, that's like a flat. It depends uh, on the resort, you know. Oh. Because they don't like cooking. Because it's all the food. It was with just Levi's. Say hi to the world. Say hi to YouTube. We're on YouTube. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, last thing. So. Anyone who like on the edge of wanting to be a cook, wanting to do seasonal work, what would you say to them? Send it. Yeah. Worst thing to worst is like, okay, so you're broke and you stuck living with your parents and you just don't like your job. Yeah, do it. Worst comes to worst, you work like six months and you hate your job. Congrats, it's a six month contract. You go somewhere else. Yeah, and you don't have to work at the contract. It's not yeah. like slavery. Yeah. You can just leave if you're like, yeah. wow, this place is terrible. Send out some applications. Another resort's gonna hire you up. And it's again, just, if you can cook, I'm sorry, I keep cutting you off. <laughs> no, it's not, it's, not, it's not. just it's a fun way to like see the world too, like in America, like with everybody. Okay. Because uh, you're in beautiful places, like you're. Yeah. Like you, we can literally open our room to see a whole fucking mountain. Some people, yeah. Yeah, you can. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not today with the wildfire. That's fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's true. And it's like 30 miles away. I'm not worried. <laughs> Some rooms are better than others, you know. <laughs> Do you guys have Instagram? You guys want to chat up? No. Oh. Yeah, we're we're anti-social. We're cooks. We like to drink and party. That's probably. Big old bottle, baby. Oh yeah. 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 If you want to have a good time and travel the world and, and make really some good cash, money, yeah, resorts are good. Yeah. yeah. You travel too, man. Oh yeah. yeah. Where you go? Where have you been? Uh, not including the military. Not including the military. Yeah. I've been to the UK, Germany, France. Canada, Mexico, you know, a lot of the standard ones. I went to South Korea, that's pretty rad. Did you cook in those places too? Like any of those places? I cooked in South Korea for like a quick minute. Really? Yep. 
You know Shamir? No. <laughs> no. What did you do cook over there? I was the white guy at the barbecue restaurant. Okay. <laughs> no, that was it. Straight up. Straight up. How much did like, you make? Not a lot. Yeah, don't worry. Not a lot. I did see, I'm not planning on doing it, so I don't care about like saying on uh, YouTube, but I was on Coolworks and I did see like there's a job opening up for cooks in Germany right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Coolworks yeah, yeah. has a lot of that. Side note, Coolworks, great website, resort work, international travel, yeah. good pay. And not just resorts, any kind of Yeah, resorts, resorts, national parks, national forests, you know, hunting lodges, vineyards, yachts. Uh, yachts. Yeah, they got the yacht department out there this summer. Go to the Caribbean. Someone was like telling me, someone here was telling me that there's like a job in Alaska. I'm pretty sure the sound's going to get fucked up on that. But I'm pretty sure, like someone was telling me there's a job in Alaska where all you do is like just make sure snows are breaking. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like a fucking amazing job. Oh yeah, there's a lot of real cheese night jobs. Especially in the wintertime you can go, you know, be a lift operator. Pay like no rent, make like minimum wage, but still. Yeah. When you're not paying rent. Oh, it's minimum it's rates is amazing. Oh yeah. 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 You make it straight 15 at like a big resort in Colorado and you're paying like 300, 400 bucks a month in rent and food. Yeah. You bank for pretty any quick? You can have like all the money is going to be possible for the most part. Like you buy a video or something. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Like for the most part, all your money is going to be possible. If you can eliminate possibility, then you have the right? How much is cost of living? Like a thousand dollars? Oh yeah. Easily, yeah. In America, easily two or three thousand dollars. I'm not easily. paying twenty five hundred dollars for a poker stack. Yeah, it depends on where you live. You know, so if you're in North Carolina, it's way different than New York City. Yeah. Um, but like the cost of living in Florida, for example, where I'm from, is you know it's exponential, especially on the beach. So I just want to wrap this up because it's getting pretty long. We're getting. I'm going to pay fifteen dollars an hour. You guys are getting like eighteen, right? Yeah. yeah. Eighteen. And we're all pretty happy. Because we're not paying rent, we have like we're saving a shitload of money. Aside from beer, cigarettes and <laughs> beer, baby. Cigarettes and beer. Cigarettes and beer every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just do seasonal work, guys. It's, it's fucking amazing. What if I was? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. You filthy animals. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no, it's amazing. You need to say it too. Say it. Oh yeah, like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. Ah, uh, yours is yeah. not as good. <laughs> <laughs>